Hello, this is Alex Slam. Uh, today I'm going to uh, give a quick preview for a workshop that my colleagues and I are holding this summer uh, at ICML. And the workshop is on reproducibility and machine learning. Uh, uh, at least according to Wikipedia, Aristotle said that uh, reproducibility in science is important because it allows us to draw a distinction between uh, general concepts that can be understood by broad groups of people versus uh, so-called idiosyncratic individual knowledge that one person might be able to realize but which other people cannot uh, partake in. Um, in machine learning, there are perhaps some areas that are hard to make reproducible. Uh, probably areas where there's uh, feedback between our system and, uh, I guess, uh, the environment. Uh, for example, if you have a recommendations engine, uh, it's recommending TV shows, and what TV shows are popular changes over time. Uh, there are certain experiments in that setting that are related to machine learning that are probably never going to be reproducible. Uh, and to give another example, if, uh, if your system is playing against humans, if you have something like AlphaGo, there's probably no way to really make that stuff fully reproducible because, I mean, once you've, you've played this public game with a human, uh, that information is then available to other humans and changes how they play. Uh, but in some areas of machine learning, uh, I think we have the opportunity to make our work extremely reproducible. Uh, for example, if you have uh, you know, image classifiers, uh, especially on, on fixed data sets, we could potentially have uh, the ability to make all of our work entirely reproducible if we have the right tools, systems, uh, and incentives in place. Uh, so the organizers for this workshop, uh, the students are uh, my colleagues, Anna Rudd, uh, Rosemary, and me, Alex. Um, and the advisors for the workshop are Joel Pinot, uh, Sammy Bengio, and Yasho Bengio. Um, one of the cool things about this workshop is that we have a wide variety of invited speakers, uh, both from industry and academia. Uh, let's see, from industry, we have John Langford, Hugo La Rochelle, uh, Oriol Vignelles, and Jason Weston. Uh, and from academia, we have uh, Damjan Vucevic, uh, who's actually from outside of the machine learning community. He works in uh, statistics and genomics. Uh, and we also have Joaquin Van Schuren and Robert Williamson. Uh, another cool thing about this workshop is that we are accepting submissions. Uh, at a high level, we want papers that either discuss repro reproducibility, um, perhaps theory related to incentives for reproducibility, um, what systems or techniques could make our research more reproducible. And then the other kind of paper that we're interested in is uh, successful or failed replications of machine learning results. Uh, the deadline is June 17th, which is just a few days from the area of this video. And you'll hear back by July 1st. Um, and uh, for accepted papers, the plan is that most of them will be given opportunities to be in a poster session. Uh, but if time permits, we'd also like to give uh, some of you oral at ICML. Uh, and uh, we're using open review. Uh, it'll be very easy to submit. Uh, the paper should be two to eight pages, not counting the appendices or references. Uh, the workshop is going to be August 11th. Uh, it's going to be part of ICML, which is being held in Sydney, Australia. Um, the exact schedule has not been determined yet, but the workshop will run for that entire day. Uh, and our plan is likely to include invited talks and a panel. Uh, that's it.